President of the Jury, Honorable Members of the Jury, Ladies and Gentlemen, I greet you all. My name is Lisa Marie Lugando and I'm a pupil of Class 6. I'm here to present my project titled The Production of Table Mats Using Banana Fibers. A table mat is a mat put on the surface of a table to protect the table from hot dishes. The importance of the table mat are to protect the cloth from hot dishes, permanent stains, and food particles. To promote civilization, to, pre to preserve the cloth for further usage, and to promote our culture. Then, I'll go to the materials and steps used in creating a table mat. For the materials, we have waste banana stems, waste banana dry leaves and plywood. For the tools, we have shoe glue, sandpaper, sun, jigsaw, scissors, blade, knife, brush, cutlass, etc. For the steps, first step we used using the cutlass, cut down the waste banana stems, open the lines on the stems, place it on the table, using the knife, remove the excess moisture and the impurity. Then dry it on the sun for 24 to 48 hours. Separate it into four and we and weave it. Then for the plywood, place a circle lid of a plastic bucket on the, on the plywood. Using the pencil, draw out the circle and carve it using the jigsaw machine or the chisel. Then using sandpaper, smoothen the edges of the circle. Then for the preparation, Pour some shoe glue into a can. Using the hand brush, take some glue. Apply it on the dry banana leaves and on the back of the circle. Place it on the back of the circle and let it give it a little force to make it remain on the back of the circle. Then use the glue, apply it on the leaves and dry it for one to two minutes. Cut the tops and the ends with the blade and place it round and round in a circular motion. And here, and here is the result I have from the table mat. <laughs> For my challenges and my recommendations, when cutting down the banana stems, it, the stems were very heavy, so I recommend we use a cutlass, a wheelbarrow to carry the, the stems. Then when cleaning the excess moisture and the impurity, it stained my dress. So I recommend, I recommend we use an apron. When cutting the tops and the ends with the blade, it wounded my finger, as you can see. So I recommend we use the glue. To, to protect the table mat, dry it, under, dry it under the sun when wet. Keep it far away from children from zero to six years old. The glue should not be eaten since it can destroy the liver. To conclude, table mats are very useful in our society. We can either buy some or make it ourselves. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Actually, <laughs> I prefer standing, at least if not till the end, but for a start. That would be because I feel so overwhelmed seeing such a presentation, especially coming from their level. Like, studying all through back then to date, we've never heard or seen something like this, so it's wow. wow. It's really wow. I'm happy. Ideally, it's a 
Your work is very beautiful. So good. Clean, at least considering your, your age, your class, if you can produce something like this, then I bet it's going to go a very long way. It's going to go places. And looking at your work, it's actually beautiful, it's good, but you have uh, some small, small corrections, just small corrections that I'll advise after this, maybe you go back to the house and try to edit your work so that at least when you give it to, let's say any office, be it an angel or so, they can be able to to appreciate your work and see the need in uh, promoting it. So I'll begin with your numbering, the numbering of your work. This first page, which is actually, we call it the cover page, you don't have to number it, just let it be. And after that, the page of the dedication and the acknowledgement, it's preferable you use Roman numbers. Mm -hmm. Then when you get to your table of contents, from the table of contents, yeah, table of content as well, you have to use Roman numbers. Then now when you get to your work proper, that's from chapter one to chapter three. That's where you start giving it the real numberings. Mm -hmm. Then, um, when you look at your picture, right, if you give this picture to anybody, let's say any of the parents present, they will look at the picture, but they will not really understand. They are actually seeing what you're doing, but they will not really get a clear picture of what you're trying to say. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is, identify your pictures. Like if you put a picture, Give it a small right top. Somebody should be able to understand that, you know, looking at this picture, this is what is happening. Mm -hmm. You don't just place a picture like that. It's vague. Mm -hmm. Then, um, your recommendations, all the recommendations you gave were so beautiful, but you didn't include everything in your work. So try to add it up, because I can actually look at your clothes. Trust me, you have to get a new uniform. <laughs> Um, notwithstanding, your work is actually beautiful. It's beautiful. Hello. Yeah, just as uh, Madame has remarked, um, it's always necessary to make sure you do your work to perfection. Okay? First of all, um, the first thing which is to be noted of you is your appearance. You must look brighter than what you are. Mm -hmm. And be confident of yourself, right? And um, the pictures, the major problem here is your pictures. They, they are clear, but they have no information. I can, because from here I cannot judge what is going on. So next time, make sure you add a right up, explaining what every picture stands for. Exactly. Uh, in fact, uh, I so appreciate what I'm seeing here. This school is something else. If at your level you can come up with a material like this, then the future will be great and excellent. 